joining us now, Larry Kudlow from CNBC, uh, and of course, the Larry Kudlow Show right here on WMAL Saturdays at 7 p.m., and it was that show that I was listening to this weekend, Larry Kudlow, when I heard you make uh, the greatest argument for revitalizing the tax system in our country in the great spirit of uh, Rahm Emanuel, never let a good crisis go to waste, you see this IRS scandal as an opportunity to bring real tax reform, and I was absolutely set on fire by your idea. Please uh, tell us. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Maybe except for the Rahm Emanuel part. (laughs) (laughs) No, but I'm, I'm making a simple case that, you know, I think the complexity of the tax code gives IRS the power to uh, corrupt as they have, and I think if you if you uh, one way to go after the IRS is to really take this and reform the tax code, and just as a you know there there are so many exemptions and deductions throughout the code that permit IRS judgments, which is where we get into trouble. We know the IRS is just chock full of left wing bureaucrats. That was from Tim Carney's great article uh, the other day in the Washington Examiner. So look. Take them away. I mean, one of the little things here, this whole business about 501c3s and c4s and c5s and c6s, can you tell me why we need these exemptions? Why do we need these exemptions? If you want to give money to your favorite cause, terrific. And I believe in freedom of speech. So you should be able to give all the money you want. But why should you get a tax exemption for that? Why should you get a tax deduction for that? Why should you uh, put well, yourself in the position of letting the IRS dictate these terms? Larry, ch- charities and churches, nonprofits will say that their uh, their donations will go down if you take away I've the tax exemption. I've heard that argument for 30 years, and there is not one whit of evidence to support it. Not one whit of evidence to support that argument. I mean, people have done studies about it. This is pure, inside the beltway, special interest groups, cronyist uh, uh, insiderism. That is all it is. And what it does, look, let's face it, it empowers the IRS. So these tax breaks and these tax complexities just give them the ability to make corrupt decisions based on their own political biases. That's what we've learned through this whole thing. I mean, you look at that, again, I go back to that Tim Carney article. They give all their money to Democrats. In 2012, they gave all, all, all the money that could be found, all the money that could be accounted for, the donations, went to either Barack Obama or um, uh, Sherrod Brown, Senator Sherrod Brown. I'm talking about the Cincinnati office in Ohio. That's the kind of thing that drives me crazy. And also, by the way, if we took away the deductions and the exemptions and we lowered the marginal tax rates, okay, that's key. It has to be done simultaneously. Then you wouldn't have to worry about charitable deductions or Warren Buffett couldn't give away $20 billion to the Bill Gates Foundation to dodge taxes. People, Those deductions, the value of those deductions at a, let's say, a 10% tax rate for middle class people, the value would be nothing. It wouldn't matter anymore. But what we would do is clean up the code and clean up the IRS. We're giving them the power. So look what's happened now. Well, Larry, Dan Bongino here. We're talking about the power in the IRS. Uh, I wanted to get into the political headwinds on the other side. I mean, there's no question there's power in the tax code for politicians as well. I think you and I can both agree that most of those uh, those write-offs, those incentives, those deductions are are, are typically political favors to uh, lobbyist groups that, that fund campaigns. That's all they so, are. Yeah, I mean, the, I, I mean, I listen to your show all that, and I've heard you go into this before. How do we get over that massive get political headwind? You know what? You've got to have a reform movement here. This can be a conservative reform movement. It could also be a liberal reform movement, all right? I know there are differences between the two positions, but on the same, I I made a modest proposal, all right? In return for getting rid of the deductions and the exemptions, I would say go to a modified flat tax, and I propose two rates, 10% and 28%, and the 10% bracket would clear away all middle class people, maybe going up to uh, 250,000 or 300,000, I don't care. But my point is, right now, right now, middle class taxpayer pays a 28% income tax rate. Okay, you with me? And they pay roughly a 15% payroll tax rate. That's a combined tax rate of 43%. 
that is higher than the top bracket because when the top bracket person stops paying the payroll tax their top rate is forty we are actually making middle income people pay a higher marginal tax rate than upper income people now that is not fair if you drop that twenty eight percent rate to ten okay and kept paying the payroll tax they go to twenty five you go from forty three to twenty five that's a huge tax cut yeah. for middle income people who by the way are taking the brunt of these bad Boy, and to no talk, question about it and talk about revitalizing the economy in one right. fell swoop it's a growth element and then we would be creating new economic growth incentives and i would do the same thing for the corporate tax code i would have one rate or maybe some kind of net sales tax net of investments but all i know is this Besides criminal action, which is going to come, as long as we keep this incredibly complex tax code, we will promote corruption in the IRS. That's what I know with great certainty. So that's why we have to reform the code. All right. Very quickly, only 30 seconds left, Larry Kudlow. But you've got the ear of a lot of Republicans in the House, I think. You, you have all the movers and shakers on your show uh, often. Yep. Are, they, are they only focusing on sort of getting Obama with this scandal, or are they starting to focus on actually uh, making some tax reform? Because well, I don't I see it. I think it's both. I, look, I, I, think, I, I, mean, I, I think the investigating committees are trying to do their work. Uh, ultimately, I think you're going to have a special counsel. But regarding tax reform, there's no question that Dave Camp and Paul Ryan and others is a pushing hard for it. And so I hear Max Baucus in the Senate is pushing hard for it. It's around. It's there. It's something that has to call us. But it's something that it, it's just as important right now to reform the tax code as it is to prosecute the IRS. They are both very important, but I'm saying reform of the tax code will go a long way to stopping this kind of corruption, you know, that we see. It's Great stuff. Larry Kudlow, we got a roll, but we will uh, definitely watch you continue this conversation on CNBC tonight. Thanks a lot, Bill.